So, first day here in Venice. Yeah, dyan yung apartment namin, guys. So, dito yung area namin. Ayan. Guys, our first thing to do in Venice is to ride gondola. Here we go. So, guys, come and ride with us and enjoy the view around the canals. While gondolas were once regularly used by Venetians, especially of the upper classes, today Vaporiti have become the main form of water transportation in Venice. A few hundred years ago, there were about 10,000 gondolas plying the canals and lagoon, but today there are only about 400. A gondola is a flat-bottomed wooden boat. It's 11 meters long, weighs 600 kilograms, and is hand-built in special workshops called Squarey, of which there are still a few today. Gondolers own and maintain their own boats, and the crops and careers are often passed down from father to son for generations. Irish. The gondolas plying the busy Grand Canal and smaller waterways of Venice are one of the most iconic images in the world. They are the symbol of history, tradition, and romance in the city on the lagoon, and the gondola ride in Venice ranks among one of the most dream about experiences for travelers. So guys, when you finally get to Venice and have a chance to ride in one of its gondolas, of course you should go, right? That depends while well, undeniably romantic and a one-of-kind experience. Gondola rides also can be expensive, and sometimes they are a letdown for visitors. So now we're enjoying the gondola ride. It's a beautiful view and I enjoyed a lot. So riding gondola allow you to see Venice from a completely different perspective and better appreciate how the city functions with canals instead of streets. They are undeniably overpriced and possibly overrated. But there is only one Venice and only one place in the world where you can ride an authentic gondola through the canals of a city that is more than 1,200 years old. If you feel like you regret not taking a gondola ride in Venice, then my advice is to not miss out on what may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you really want to do is to get into a gondola, you can take a 2-minute traghetto across the Grand Canal. A traghetto is an empty gondola used to ferry passengers back and forth across the canal. While it might not be so romantic, it's much cheaper and you do get a great view of the Grand Canal. But how much really gondola ride cost? Gondola fares are standard and set officially. As of these, <laughs> riding rates are 80 euros for a daytime ride and 100 euros for rides after 7 p.m. Rides last 40 minutes. If you want to extend your time on the water, you'll pay 40 euros for each additional 20 minutes aboard or 50 euros after 7 p.m. And you can check the current gondola fares before you book. And be aware that if you book a gondola ride through a hotel or agency, there's likely to be an additional fee. Gondola holds six people. They can be shared without affecting the fee. So if you're traveling solo or with another person, you can find other travelers with whom to share the ride like we did. It's not quite as romantic but will save you some euros. So guys, riding gondola is worth it. Despite it being expensive, it is not a one-time experience to discover the canals of Venice on board and a beautiful gondola with a gondola singing romantic and melancholy songs. But actually, our gondola doesn't sing. Because not all gondolers sing. So when you are looking for a ride, ensure you confirm singing will be included. <laughs> but for us, it doesn't matter because we enjoy the beauty of Venice. So, what is really the best time to go on a gondola ride? If you take a gondola ride during the day, expect to have to deal with the hot sun. But after 7 p.m., while very romantic and the rates are more expensive. I must say that a good time to take the ride was in the late afternoon when the sun was not scorching. But we wow, were not so paying much. any additional fees for the night ride. So guys, gondola ride is worth it. We think it is wonderful to see the small canals of Venice from the water, the way the city was meant to be seen.
Critics are right to complain about the price, but those that complain are missing one thing, the experience. From the moment we stepped foot in the gondola, we were giddy young adults in love, soaking in the romance of Venice. It was magic. As you travel down the small canals, you realize that you are really experiencing history. Through many Venetians do not ride in a gondola today unless for a special occasion. We were doing what the Venice people did for centuries. For that 40 minute ride, we were experiencing the past in our present as the history came alive through the ride. So guys, we are so glad we did not listen to the critics. Overpriced perhaps, but worth every last euro. So guys, come and enjoy the beauty of Venice as we did. It's so wonderful, amazing experience. Still enjoying the rest of our trip, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and click the bell button so that you will get updated to our newest uploaded videos. And of course, please don't forget to like and comment down below. Bye-bye. See you in the next vlog.